Come on. Come on down. Bit muddy out here. Bit muddy. You know, this is a massive year for me. You know, I was out for, you know, the six months with the illness. Mark's form obviously kept me out for another year. And, uh, you know, it's just a massive year in terms of getting back to the levels that I've shown before, you know, before I was out. So we're just up by the back of Ravenscraig. I live in the Ravenscraig area, so just up with the two kids and the, well, the three kids now. <laughs> now this is our new puppy, Ruby, 14 week old chocolate lab. So. You know, she's a beauty, but she keeps you on your toes and uh, keeps you busy. Do you want down next? I'm up. You want up? You lazy boy? You tired? Yes. Hey, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, as I say, I've been out for, uh, what, 18 months now without playing, and the longer it goes on, you know, the more doubts sort of creep in in your mind, you know, can I still do it at this level? So for me, I think I've shown, you know, I've still got the confidence, I've still got the ability to perform at this level. I think riding a bike, like, you know, being a goalkeeper, it does just come back. Maybe it's not at the, you know, at the levels you want it to be initially, but, I, you know, it gradually comes back. I've missed just being that starting 11, that little things of getting the match day photo with the boys, you know, it only started last year and it's just good to be part of that and part of it again. It's definitely made me more appreciative of what, what I do have, you know, I think we're too guilty of, you know, moaning about what you don't have or what you want but you know I've got a great family, a great life and I'm so fortunate to be playing at a club like Motherwell. Come on. So we've got her at eight weeks so we've had her for six weeks now and uh, to be honest it was me that was nagging the missus to get one you know I've always uh, you know I grew up with dogs and uh, I've always wanted a dog you know and she sort of wanted a little you know one of them little handbag dogs but for me it had to be a Labrador and uh, you know we're buzzing we've got her and she's you know, she's great. You know, for me, they're just, you know, you're, you're your best friends, you know, aren't they? You, you know, for me, I can go and get lost for two hours with a dog and have a nice walk and sort of gather your own thoughts. So, yeah, definitely dog lovers. The gaffer gave me the vice captaincy. It's an honour and, uh, you know, especially with some of the characters in the dressing room that could have got it and, you know, it sort of gave me that little lift just before the season that I needed. I think it's a reflection on how I responded last year to not playing. You know, the gaffer obviously seen that I took it in the chain, I was disappointed, yes, but, you know, I rallied the lads every match day, I wanted the club to do well, and, uh, you know, I think that's a reward for me for, you know, acting like that. Do you know what, it's been really tough in terms of we're segregated, we're split up in different dress rooms, but, you know, a few of the boys have taken it upon ourselves to sort of speak to the management and they've got us a games room and stuff like that so we can sort of mix in with the other lads and you're in each other's pockets for basically the whole season. You can't have, you know, boys who don't really know each other and uh, you've got to have that camaraderie, you know, that because sometimes when you do have that you think, I'd go the extra yard for him, you know, because he's a good lad, you know, he's a mate and, uh, you know, it's really important for me. Personally, my form I think has been okay at the start of the season but re results dictate how it looks on the outside, you know, we haven't won a game, so, you know, I could be performing the same, and if we've won every game, people are raving about you, but you can't get too high or too low, you got to keep a happy medium, because things change so quick, you know, personally, my confidence is growing, and, you know, I feel like I'm going to get better and better this season. Good girl, Ruby. You're getting lots of treats, aren't you? When does training start? Ah... Uh, it's a gradual process, honestly. It's sort of one step forward, two back at the minute. And uh, but you know, we just want a you know family dog. We're not we don't want a show dog or a dog that can do spins in her head. You know, as long as she's uh, good with the kids and uh, you know quite pleasant when she goes out and meets all her dogs. That's sort of sort of the aim. Actually, so excited for ice cream. You need curried. What color ice cream are you gonna get? I get the blue ice cream. Blue ice cream. <gasps>well it's a big game for both sides two games two defeats for both teams so really this is a very early in the season an absolutely crucial game now is the time to get points on the board both teams coming into this one with the same attitude so it's going to be a hard fought game pleased with a point not pleased with the performance of, of some players there's some decent performances but some of the other boys got a reality check tonight this is Sidorf. 
Thinking of Turnbull, good play by Turnbull. It's a brilliant finish by David Turnbull. The breakthrough for Motherwell. You're playing against a team that finished fifth last year. Some things don't go your way, and then you know you have to still do the simple things well. Breaking the ball goes to Campbell. Campbell shooting chance. He's taking it. Motherwell back in the lead. Well, that's great play. Here's Sybil. Great opportunity, and it's turned in. It's been coming. I've read the Rad Act, I've told people what I think. Listen, some people need to realise this is a club when you pull on the shirt, you give absolutely everything, otherwise you won't play for it. I'm expecting a big reaction. How's it going? It's happening, how are you? Alright, yourself? I'm alright, I'm alright. Nice to see you, how's it going? Alright. You okay? Yeah, right. good to see you. Did you go over that guys get your reds? Aye, I, I actually forgot my trainers, but I think I've got the thing under this. So okay. I signed a, a quite a late contract last night, about half past seven, quarter to eight, and I enjoyed my, my first training session this morning, uh, where I certainly get put through my paces. Jesus. Is this a medium? I can't wear medium. Oh my lord. I did see medium last night, but. This is this is this is a different medium. I may not appreciate me saying to go over to Hamilton Rackies this morning to, to thank the staff and the players for they allowed me to train during COVID is something that was very fortunate that they let me in. Then I came straight across to do some media, met a few of the boys, done my, some media duties and then got to come out and, and train in this nice uh, sunny afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Is the food any good? Does the trick? Can they poach an egg? Hi. Stephen. Oh, how are you? Nice to meet you. How's it going? I'm going. It's food. Nice to meet you. So, can you play left back and all then? We'll see. I'm <laughs> trying. <laughs> I've obviously not been involved in any team meetings for a while. That was the first one in about six months, five months. So, so it was good to be involved in that this morning. Um, getting a wee bit of insight how to how the manager wants to play. And then obviously coming out and training with the boys, it's a, a kind of similar uh, Friday session, a wee bit of shape and stuff, so it was good to get involved. Still trying to get round to knowing all the boys' names, there's a few I'm, I'm not so sure of, but um, they've all been welcoming and, and I'm looking forward to, to the, the spell I've got here. I'm here for a number of reasons, one of which the, the gaffer wanted me. He told me he had a few injuries, he was hoping to get me in as soon as and hopefully get me involved as soon as. He wanted me maybe to, to potentially play on the other side, which I was happy to, to experience. I'm always, even at 28, I'm happy to learn and try and improve. And also, it's, I'm very close, I stay in Motherwell, uh, I'm from Wisher, so it's, it's a club that is literally very close to home. And I'm just I'm looking forward to playing in Europe again. Um, didn't have the best uh, experiences last season and uh, hoping to put that right. I think I'm a player that that, that works hard. What I will give you is 100%. At every club, even when I've been running my contract out, like at Kilmarnock, at Partick Thistle, I think if you speak to any reasonable fan, I always played, I always put my heart into the performances and, and hoping that that's good enough. I think for building on um, third place, I, I had that at Kilmarnock. It's very hard to, to do again. That There's a lot of teams with bigger budgets, but what we want to do is make sure we're competitive every day. We play a nice brand of football. And that, and that continues to happen and hopefully pick up from the, the, the slow start. But again, it's far too early to be panicking about anything like that. It's the first visit to Easter Road this season for the Sky Sports cameras as Hibs look to continue their flying start to the season against Motherwell. get the result we deserve no did we get the performance very much so I thought we dominated the game you know we, we controlled the game and, and that's a very good hip side you know they, you don't start with three wins in a row by luck and it just shows how good we actually can be the boys are, are happy with the performance they know they played well they're, they're honest boys they know when they haven't performed I've seen the goal back, I've seen the screenshot and you know he wasn't in line with the ball, he wasn't in, in the goalkeeper's way which was the excuse the referee gave and it comes off their player so we should be leaving here with a 1-0 win today. The reminder midweek were how people need to step themselves up again to, to what they were last season, I think that's been done and we need to follow that up with a win on Saturday. Hello. 
how you doing? What a beautiful day. I came here last year. I signed it from Wolf, Wolfham to Wanderers and I played on the 23, so I've been alone um, twice. Didn't really play much. Came in Moldovar and um, starting to play, and I was starting to get my rhythm back and everything. It was hard to come on the bench, off the bench. But I hope to make the friends happy, make my family happy, make the gaffer happy, you know, make myself happy and those stuff. I just keep doing what I was doing. Like every year, I just, it's my year, you know, and this year I'm even more, like I'm more hungry you know, to go to go to the next step. Every day I just want to get the best out of myself, wake up and just feel like I'm gonna do this in training, you know, like every day just the same hunger. I'm definitely feeling I'm way more fitter than I was before. I can see it in the training myself, in the games, you know, like just the runnings and everything, what we do, it, like it helped, it helps us so much, you know. Like in the beginning it's a bit like, oh, we're running it again today, but at the end, like, it helps you, you know, it helps you with the way like you want to play, like how we want to play. And that's what we need to you know in the team. So it definitely, I feel definitely stronger and mentally better as well. Pussy! Yo! <laughs> I love to laugh a little bit, you know, with the boys. Um, I love to make jokes sometimes, but like my jokes are a bit different because my English is not so great, you know? So let's say when Deki makes a joke, like I need to have like a few seconds to understand it. But when I understand it, I'm laughing, but then I'm a bit too late, you know, with this kind of stuff to catch it up. But I love to make a bit, you know, make a bit of fun in the dressing room because it's really good, you know, like just to keep the character of the boys, like everything in the change room, just to keep going. So yeah. Come back, sir. Oh. Game time, goals, assists, those are my, my number one goals I want to do, you know. I feel like this year is really a push year for myself to get to the top, to play myself in the highlights. Everyone will come by himself if you just keep working hard. Yeah, just keep doing what you're doing and give every day 100%. I think frustrated is a, is a calm word for it. We need something to, to drop our way, but we can't keep saying it's bad luck. It's a case of making things drop our way. They won the game from somebody who was brave in the box. They, they showed a desire to get in front of us, get hurt if they needed to to win the game. And we didn't. We have to pick ourselves back up again. And show desire, show desire in both boxes. No matter what stats you have, no matter how much possession you have, no matter how good, many good players you have on paper, if somebody's not willing to put their head on the line to defend the box, and ultimately win you the game, then we're not going to win football matches. So it's something we have to change very quickly.